About the turn of the century, the French mathematician Marie Camille Jardin stated, a simple closed curve in the plane divides the plane into exactly two domains. If we ask a young child to copy these forms, he is apt to produce a series of related blobs. And when he does, he is unconsciously recognizing the fundamental similarity between these shapes. Each one divides the paper into an inside part and an outside part. A point that lies in one area cannot get to the other, no matter how the curve is stretched. It is a simple closed curve, which means that it does not cross itself and it ends at its beginning point. If it follows these rules, it will behave the same regardless of how it is distorted. Now it would be more difficult to tell if any given point lies inside the curve or outside, but there is a way. If a line is drawn from that point to the area beyond, and it crosses the curve an odd number of times, we find that the point lies inside. An even number of times, it lies outside. What is true for the simple curve and its brotherly blobs may not be true for its more complicated cousins. A curve that crosses itself once behaves differently, and no matter how hard it tries, it cannot become a simple curve. This is just a taste of topology. Just as two plus three is part of arithmetic, and bisecting an angle is a part of geometry, so problems of inside and outside are a part of topology.